Hey everyone, this is YouTube Media. I'm going to show you how to turn your webcam into a security cam um, with a program called DoorJam. It turns any ordinary computer webcam into a motion detecting security camera. So to get it, just go open your internet and go to download.com. Then in the search box, type in DoorJam, D-O-R-G-E-M. Hit enter. Scroll down and click on DoorJam here and it's free too and then click download now but I've already downloaded so now we can close that then go to your start button and then go to your documents then in your documents create a uh, new folder just create a new folder and name it like door gem recordings because you're going to need this later so I just named mine door gem rec then now that we've done that here's door gem so I'm going to open it up Okay, this is what it should look like. The first thing you're going to do is click on Source. This is how you're going to select your webcam. Sle see where it says Select a Video Device? Select your webcam. Here's mine, HP Webcam. So find yours and then click Apply and OK. Then go to Store Settings. Click Add. This is where we're going to store the pictures when it takes a picture. OK, and then click File and OK. Name, you can name it whatever you want. I'll do Door Gym Rex. Make sure it is enabled here. Make sure there's a check next to enable. Interval. This is the time interval between each picture it takes. So if it's set for 30 seconds, it's going to take a picture only every 30 seconds. But that's too long, so I'm going to make it 3 seconds. You can change it to hours, minutes, seconds, whatever. Okay, the file name. Okay, um, click on the little button here with the periods. Now remember that file we made in my documents that I did, I told you to make? Go find that file. So here it is right here. That's the file we're going to be using. And then make a name. I'll just do door gem. Then at the end of the name, do percent, uppercase G, percent, lowercase G. Now what this does is whenever it takes a picture, um, of a person and saves it to your computer, it's going to put the time that it was taken on the name of the picture. It'll do date, hour, year, all the way to seconds. And then click save. And then um, all this stuff you can just leave alone. Make sure reset time when not stored is checked, but all this, leave it unchecked. Okay, and then now that we're done with that, click OK. Now this little star next to it means it's enabled, so that's a good thing. Then we can click close. Now go to options. Okay, now just copy all this for your settings. Make sure motion detection is checked, minimized system tray, and show messages. Now all this stuff, just don't even mess with that. I don't mess with all that. So when we click use motion detection, that means it will only take a picture if there's a difference between the last picture took in, and it's very sensitive, so even if just a slight shadow or the sun gets covered by the clouds, it'll it'll detect that and take a picture. So the space on your hard drive won't get taken up. It'll only do it when motion is detected. So just make sure it's like this, and then click OK. OK, now that we're all done with the settings, we can now start capturing pictures. First thing you're going to do is click Auto Capture. That means when you open this program, it's going to automatically start capturing pictures and storing them to your computer. So I'm going to click Auto Capture. And see right there where it says Stored Successfully to File. See, that means it's saving the pictures every time it flashes. So let's close this and go to that file in my documents and see if the pictures are there. See, there they are. Those are all the pictures it was taking every three seconds. There's That's my hand in the way. And remember, that as I was saying about that percent G thing in the name? Well, there it is right there. 2008, 12 December 26. Uh, that's Army time, so that's 7, 46, and 7 seconds. So it records the whole time of when the picture was taken in the name of it. And it'll actually show them being stored to your computer even when you have the program opened. Watch. See, there goes another one. Three, two, one, another one. So, there you go. That's how you make your webcam into a security camera. And remember, to make DoorGem take the pictures, you have to have the DoorGem program opened and have auto capture checked. You just open up DoorGem and it'll take pictures. 
every whatever amount of seconds you set it for. Make sure you check out my website in my video description and subscribe if this video helped you at all.